there is one more very important loop available in csr programming language and this is called as do while loop let's understand about this do while loop also so here let's remove this for loop concept and now i will talk about do while concept okay to work with the do while loop we have to use two keywords just like you were having one keyword in this while loop because it was while loop so we were having only one single keyword now we have to deal with the do while loop let's talk about the syntax of this do while loop so first here we have to write this do keyword and just after the do we have to create the body of this like this now over here we have to use the while keyword again like this so this is the basic syntax we are having do then the body and then this while keyword if i compare this do while loop with the while loop then here you can notice that in the while loop we were writing the condition in the beginning but over here we are writing the condition at the end it means whatever we will write over here that will be executed at least once even the condition is false let's understand this concept with an example so here i am writing this console dot write line and in the console dot write line let's display a message hello from do while and over here i will change the value of this n to 5 so what is the concept over here this condition is false this condition is also false so i just want to check what will be the output on the console screen let's run it over here you can notice we are only getting messages from the hello from do while loop the main difference in between this while and do while is that if this condition is false then while will not be executed even a single time but here in the do while loop whatever you have written over here that will be executed at least once even if the condition is false let's just remove this while loop and let's deal with this do while loop here i'm gonna just use the value zero and over here let's just update the value to this plus one if i will try to run this application this time then you will notice we are getting similar output hello from do while and just to differentiate let's just display the value of this n also over here let's run it here you can notice we are getting 0 1 2 3 4 and that's it about the do while loop but here let's do some fun as well and let's see the real use of this do while loop and you know what i was waiting about this do while loop since the beginning of this course because this is something that will help us to execute our program multiple times what does it mean so over here let's say i just want to write a program to find out the even or the odd value and i want to run that program multiple times so let's just write the very basic concept over here so first i'm writing over here please enter a value so what i'm doing over here i just want to create a program to find out if the given value is even or odd and i want to get that value from the user so let's say it is where here i'm writing user input and console.read line like this and let's just convert this value to int like this and here i'm writing if this user input if i will divide this user input by 2 and the remainder is 0 it means the value is even so here i'm writing this message console dot write line your input and let's use that string interpolation over here is even right let's use the else keyword as well over here and here i'm writing odd we have written this type of code multiple times in the previous videos but here i want to execute this program multiple times so what i will do after all these things i will simply display one more message press y to execute the program again and over here i can basically check the user input it means if the console read line dot to lower equal equal y let's understand the functionality of this program so what we are doing when this program will be executed then whatever we have written inside the body of this do keyword that will be executed so what we are having over here we are displaying a message to the user please enter a value then user will enter some values and based on that value we will try to find out whether it is an even or or once we will get this output then along with that message we also get one more message over here press y to execute the program again okay now all these lines are executed the control will come back to this while condition and over here we are checking if the input that is given from the user is y user can press this y button either in the caps 
or small if the user is pressing y then if the user is pressing y it means we have to run all these things again then again we will ask to the user what is your next value so based on that we will execute this program multiple times let's just run this program so over here you can notice we are getting a message please enter a value and here let's say i'm typing 10 hit the enter button you can notice your input 10 is even so that is the result of this input 10 and now the program is asking us press y to execute the program again so let's just press this y and here i'm pressing this y in the small cases let's hit the enter button again you can notice we are getting same message which is saying please enter a value this time let's enter 13 hit the enter button here you can notice we are getting your input 13 is odd perfect and again it is asking us to press y to execute this program again this time let's enter this y in the capital letter so hit the enter button and this is something that you can use to run your program multiple times so for example now if i do not want to press y i want to press something else let's say it is n hit the enter button you can notice that the execution is complete press any key to close the window like this and that's it by using this concept you can run all your programs multiple times and here is your homework remember we have done couple of programs in previous videos for example finding this e1 and odd writing a table of a particular number and so many other you have to run all those programs by using this do while loop so remember you have to write a concept over here if the user input is y and basically you can write any kind of condition over here you can also go with this yes like this so if user is typing yes then you can continue with the program otherwise not and if you want to show your creativity to others then please write your code in the comment section below we all will check your code and definitely this would be helpful for everyone that is all in this program and in the video thank you for watching